ever wonder if relationships are a waste of time? Medical research shows the most important thing to people is being accepted. This requires relationships. A majority of people care what others think of them, especially because that positive appearance of getting along at work, school, and in life is fundamental. But some people still think relationships are a waste of time. Today in this video, I'm going to share four actionable tips, a strategy to use, and a takeaway point to help you build healthy relationships and show you why relationships are essential to living your best life. Hello friends, welcome to Live Rad TV. I'm Becky Cortino, a multi-platform published author and motivational presenter creative. I share tips and effective strategies to build healthy relationships to live your best, transforming life one relationship at a time. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Take a minute to introduce yourself in the comments below and don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. But first, a word of caution. What I'm about to share applies to those of you dealing with common relationship challenges. You're safe, not in fear of personal safety or potential harm. You're confident and strong, seeking helpful insight based on biblical truths about relationships. In cases threatening personal safety or matters potentially involving security risks, you should seek professional care and assistance in your community. This video is not intended for you. Let's talk about building healthy relationships and why relationships are important. Everyone shares basic human needs for survival, food, shelter, and nurturing. Some requirements are stronger than others, becoming a, almost a driving force to be filled. First tip today is clarity. Gain clarity about your relationships. Sometimes we incorrectly consider our desires and needs and life can easily skew off into unintended directions with a confused matchup of needs, desires, goals, and dreams. They may even collide or compete with each other for attention. If we're not careful, they can become confusingly intermingled. Lacking clarity becomes a tangled mass. Human desires, perceived needs, and personal preferences shape our interactions and relationships with others. It's not just how we view a situation or someone, but what we hope to receive as a result of our connection. Personal priorities, beliefs impact our ability to maintain relationships or not. A common example of the extent to which some people will go sometimes to be accepted is by not openly sharing their thoughts or opinions. Having civil discourse is acknowledged as important in the process of developing and maintaining relationships. It connects us with one another and become a like-minded group of individuals through relationship, which we recognize as important. The second tip is nurturing. Nurturing relationships is essential to building healthy, real relationships. Statistics indicate the majority of people value relationships as their highest priority, and yet they struggle to nurture important relationships. Tending relationships takes time and dedication. Many people battle with this because life happens and gets in the way of nurturing. Acknowledge these unavoidable life challenges and find ways to nurture relationships in your life. Simple is best. Third tip, connecting. Find the connecting point. People are people. They are individuals with goals, dreams, and ideas like you and like me. And goals, dreams, and perspectives differ from ours. Our basic needs remain the same. This is the connecting point, building healthy relationships. We can't control how others react, but we can control how we handle matters. The world revolves around relationships, which includes work, family, friends, acquaintances, people whose path we cross any day, anywhere. How you interact, relate, communicate with others, impacts your relationships and the outcome of these relationships in your life. Sometimes we get weary in trying to nurture or maintain a relationship, but it's always worth it. We're better together rather than splintered apart. What healthy relationships look like? They naturally exhibit mutual respect, shared love, care, concern for one another. Fourth tip today is vibrancy. Relationships require more than one person. They are dynamic in nature. We must treat others as the unique individuals they are, not a member of some labeled people group touted by the world we've accepted. A relationship requires embracing the person. Even when joined as one heart, a true relationship includes more than one mind, featuring multiple talents, gifts, and different passions in the mix. And this is when things become really interesting because nurturing a relationship also requires understanding. 
comment below and let me know if you'll be applying any of these tips in your relationships. And if you're interested in learning more, I'm offering more tips, courses, and real life resources to help you transform life one relationship at a time at brokentobreakthrough.com. Loving beyond the difficulties will bring you through them. If we study what the Bible says about how we should treat others, it's easy to see how following Jesus' example is the most effective way to build healthy relationships and fellowship. This we know. God is all about relationship. He created us to know, love, and fellowship with him from the beginning. This was his plan. See Genesis 1.1 to 20.28. 20, Sin inhibits our relationships and ability to forgive others, and we need restoration. See Genesis 3.9. God created mankind with free will to accept, love him, or not. Romans 10, 9 to 10. God always loves all of us every day of our lives. See 1 Corinthians 1, 9. Loving God means we put him first in our lives. See 1 Thessalonians 2, 12. Relationships begin there. Strategy to use, whether a broken relationship involves altering Christians or non-Christians, modeling Christ-like behavior, shows others how grace is extended and relationships can be mended in the process as Jesus promises. Takeaway point for today, relationships are personal and one-on-one. -on -one. Strong bonds are developed with each person. They are built through trust and forged with love. Building healthy relationships takes time. It is worth it. So in answer to the question, are relationships worth it? The answer is relationships are worth it. Healthy relationships make life better. If you enjoyed these tips and want to go deeper, check out the link.